not asking permission and just doing what you like to provide widening entrances, bearing lines. It's not all of them, but it's a few of them. I did get a list from Don George down there and sent them out a letter telling you know what we need to. He made a go ahead and widen the approaches to the fields and everything? But yes. And our, that, that's what's right irritating about this one where they just did this line. I just had this discussion on this same lease with the guy not less than three months ago, and then I turned around and we're up there boring the road without any permission. Are these in county or obviously out of county people? Oh, most of the wolf. Out of state? They're all, I mean, this list's all over. I mean, but, yeah. I mean, I called the home office and talked to the guy. He said, well, this is just not the point. I just had this discussion with this guy less than three months ago. Because you know, he was out here right in the right of way. I said, granted, it's not a drainage issue, but that's that's not that's not what the issue is here. Mm -hmm. The issue is, you know, there yeah, needs to be a direction. Right. Yes. Yeah, right. yeah. It's not for you to decide, it's for us to decide. Right. And the issue could be drainage or other. Well, it could be. I mean, you don't know that. Well, before that, I mean, we they drilled straight west of town here and they put a 40 foot pipe in there. And they moved to Reagan. Well, the road was narrow, and so they had to swing out of the road. Well, they tore all the side of the road up. And I told him, I said, you know, if you'd have called to talk to me before this, I'd have told you you needed a, you know, a 50 or 60 foot pipe so you didn't have to swing around like this and tear up the road. But no, you just do this and don't ask. And I, we ended up going out there and taking the pipe out because they just basically shoved the ditch in where they wanted to. Well, you said you went to talk to the county attorney and see what legal action was being. Okay. I think I'd be nice yes, to Yes, absolutely. I, uh, I think we have we have rules, we have guidelines, whatever, right? Mm -hmm. And if they're not following them, we need to we need to hold them to it. We have my support. And well, whatever, whatever we need to do. I mean, it's it, yeah. I, th I think during the premise it's easier to do it and ask for forgiveness than it is to ask for permission. Yeah. And it ended with that, you know, with that premise. And yeah, but I'm if sure. there isn't, if, there, if if there isn't any teeth in it, do it the right. The normally you always yeah. you usually come up here with a, uh, a written request, request, yeah. request and, and uh, you not approve it, and, and, it. And you know what you're going to do, so we're you know that's not have something out there on the road. We don't know where it's at. Yeah. And, 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 and this one wasn't very deep. I mean, it probably doesn't need to be, but that, that's, yeah. again, not the point. It's the principle. Thank you. I would say get with Joe. Okay. And uh, if we don't have anything written, we will. In the meantime, we'll send them a letter explaining a few things. Because my experience with all companies is they will push and tell you push back. And that's not being derogatory, it's just their nature. And once they understand the boundaries, they usually respect them. So if we don't establish some, we're going to experience this more and more. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. So your ice machine went south? Oh, we had a Bill's looking at this morning. And, well, I think you guys need ice down there. So. Yeah. yeah, but I mean, it's, it's well, I addressed that with a couple of them this morning. Right. So, uh, they have an ice machine? Yeah. Well, you know, and the other thing I was thinking about this, too, it's, it's, a, it's a safety factor, too, in case someone gets burned, you know, ice is probably one of the first things you want to... Yeah, there's a little bit of problems that come up. And they're free, too. You want to get your star foam cooler and run down there. It's easier to go over the hill. That's actually a pretty good idea. But, but it, it, developed a leak. it developed a leak the other day, and we didn't have time to look at it. Well, that's a couple of them said something, and I said, well, take the top off and look at it. Well, well maybe. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Very good. Lots of luck. Yeah, I information that payment was only 156 of the afternoon.
Yeah, and, we, I, and, I, and we have talked to I have talked to the guys and told them, you know, let's be extremely careful with me. It's like to see everybody come in and everybody come back tomorrow. It makes for a lot better days for it's, everybody. It takes a little longer to the road oil to set up. Well, the mix, it, yeah, I mean, it's, it's not going to set as fast, but it's just a curious attitude. That's how it is. And here the others. So it was 156 on the pavement? That's amazing. You really? You have your tennis shoes on. You wouldn't want to stand. I mean, you, you really feel sorry for these guys that sit there and fly all day long and stand out there and paddle. Mm -hmm. I mean, we don't have to do anything. That we should. I've seen us out there all day long. Mm -hmm. I mean, I do know they rotate in and out. But, but still, still, it's still you know, right. Oh, and it, it's just, about, about there's, there's, people out there. Yeah, there's just no place to go. No, no shade, nothing yeah. stand out there. Yeah, they really rotate into a pickup without air conditioning. Yeah, they can be the Well, at least they get four feet or two out now, two something. Somebody goes by about 70 miles an hour, too. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> All right. All right. Do we have anything at the moment? Service master does not want to take care of our floors. We don't want the line with it. So I called my friend that work in Kratka. And they have a guy that comes up and cleans there twice a month. So I'm working with him trying to get this. Just two, an independent guy. Two, re two relaxing. We need to get them stripped and rewired. Yeah. So I just heard back from him this morning. The service master and Proclaim won't do them, and I don't have a number for that. So let me see what this guy can do. Okay. But he does crack on his work. I know. They're happy with him. So. Anyway. Um, we had four interested people for the annex cleaning job. They range from five hundred dollars a month to two twenty five. Oh just recess one too so we get a chance to look at it. Okay. Well recess. Oh okay. Yeah. An update kind of on the weekend. I guess Pawnee had a little fire. Well, that was kind of Pawnee's and ours. I don't know. Equal share of what it was, but uh, a couple fires actually along along that edge of the county there, along and, and a couple one back further towards into Stafford County, and then uh, so it must have been something dragging along on a vehicle that was lighting them on fire, but it got into it into a couple shelter belts, which I think they were out there upwards of three hours, but then they ended up having to go back twice over the next couple of days to um, take care of some rekindles. But we we had uh, that one, we had another one uh, south, of, south and east of Stafford that on Friday afternoon, late Friday afternoon, and then, uh, well, we had crews going to that one, we had a, um, a two-car, bad two-car accident here. 281 and 50 ended up uh, extricating one and uh, flying both of them out to Wichita. And um, then we had uh, let's see, three different uh, medical uh, uh, runs, and uh, two of them ended up being transferred on to Wichita by us. Hmm. And then we had a, an oral rig accident where the person got hurt uh, yesterday. So it was mighty busy over the weekend. You know, out here at 15281, we went for years. We had a lot of accidents before, and then they put had an island to put in there for the divided island. For years and years, they had that. And I don't think they had a single accident out there. And Topeka comes in, our trans Department of Transportation, and they said that wasn't necessary, that it's more hazardous because of it, uh, the lanes were wired so much. Turn. They took them out, and ever since then, we've been having accidents out there. Again. They had a good thing going, and they could have tore the thing out and, and, and took those islands out. Had those islands quite a ways back, 
and the divide and studs come up earth. They have to put it in. I don't think they had a, an accident, a fatality mm -hmm. after that. Lots of fatalities still did that. Well, I don't want They need to have the islands back here again. Let's get them to do it. It's a different thing. They got some air truck can turn on there. You know, the house uh, you have good signage, but. Um, but then the islands was, was more of a warning. People coming up, you see that. Definitely, this is the intersection there. People make more aware of it. Yeah, I think there's no doubt that, you know, folks. Uh, with the rumble strips and everything, folks understand that they need to stop, but I think they're either not reading, you know, this family, neither one of the the, uh, the uh, folks in the car that pulled out uh, spoke very little English at all. And so I, I kind of wondered, you know, how well they could read the sign. So there's no doubt that they, they understood that they could, they should have stopped because they did, but then they progressed through. I, I assume probably thinking that the other direction was stopping also. Mm -hmm. That's just my kind of my assumption, but I don't know if that was an accurate assumption or not. But that uh, is wicked. This uh, uh, this with you all about uh, last week about the windows out there. Uh, the project's coming along real well. Uh, Willinger's construction has uh, got about uh, half the sheetrock up, and electrical and HVAC is coming along real well. Um, the windows, there was a difference of, of bid, uh, the low bid, the, the biggest problem with the low bid is, is the installation time, quite frankly. Uh, it's going to be upwards of, of a month. And really, if, if, if uh, you know, Willinger bid at a pretty decent, uh, a very competitive bid, and I hate to have him have to come back. And um, so it's really going to hold him up if we... Now, are you putting the window square around the hole? No, uh, uh, our plan was to, to put uh, the ones, the four across the front there. And even um, I'll, uh, Pratt Glass is, is fine with putting two in also, two in and then two more. And what I wanted to do is do that, that way we can make sure and, and do everything we need in, in, the, in, that, um, in those two bay areas um, and finish everything before we you know, put out another Fourteen hundred dollars on the other two windows, so I, I wanted to kind of say that as as kind of after, but I, I really think they ought to look the same. But this is an example of Pratt uh, glass. I don't know if you had an opportunity to go out to the oh, it, it, It's a little bit different in that um, in that the other uh, mechanism of of putting it together is is that this kind of comes on as an after. The aluminum piece kind of come on as a, an after. It's not part of the overall window frame. So, uh, I, I think there's no doubt that this is a superior product in the construction bin. So, I, I, I think the additional cost is, is uh, just warranted. It's justified. And plus, it, they can put them in the 10 days. Well, my, my thoughts is if we could keep it home, I'd rather prefer to keep the businesses home than that have the county. But uh, there, there, there's a metal trim too out there. But it's 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 put on after the fact. No, it is. So it's kind of like these pieces here are fastened on as a as a cover plate type thing. So the window goes goes in there, and I'm not sure how the frame all goes in there, but it goes in there, and then and then these pieces go on kind of as a as just a cap. So it's not part of the overall construction. In other words, this is, this is a, a window that comes in and it's inserted and it's taken yeah, out like it's, that. It's completely like that. It just this is basically put it in. Okay. Let's see what you're saying. So I, think, I don't think we're comparing apples to apples on the two products. Um, and, and that's why we have, a, I think, a difference in price. Boy, you're we'll talking about a couple maybe right now or something. Pardon? You say yes. just a couple of them right now. Yeah. But there would be $175 per window difference between Pratt Glass and, and uh, Jeff Williams. So that's 700 total project. About that, yes. Yes. Yep, about that. About 700. A little change. But it's still covered under your, all of your other. Yes, I mean, maybe in addition to. I mean, 
and yeah. what, what money is you that have memorial funds for this? Will, will cover. Yeah. I, I have no problem with the that. project. I mean, to speed up the construction and get it done. And That's the biggest problem. I really don't want uh, Troy Williamson to have to come back Troy for that little bitty finished project. I'd like to be able to have it. It's what it's what I've said. Oh, no, no, that's not that. Yeah, well, that was. Yeah, that was. Yeah, I don't know what Troy had to come back and um, when he's finished out the room, it'd be easier for him to finish out the room. Yeah. Uh, better not come back. I don't care. I'm like you. I hate taking it away from somebody else. I really do. But. But time is important. Well, time is important, important. and you might be yeah. hurting somebody else, and you yeah. have a, probably a better product in the end. So. Well, time thing, I guess, is the main issue. Then, so. I, I think that is the main issue with it, is that um, the, the, the construction is, is different, I, and I think that's, you know, that is the, the reason for the additional cost. I mean, there's, there's more aluminum and, and, and I'm sure this extruded metal is not cheap. And so I, I think the reasoning behind it is, is and this is yeah. And this thermal and it's E. And so the, I think the reasoning for the additional cost is justified in, but the bottom line is the, the installation time is much shorter. I would say go ahead. It's my vote. Okay, good. Okay. We made a motion or something. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and ask for the for the just permission to go ahead and go with the total price. That way, I don't have to come back and ask you again for the additional two windows. Mm -hmm. Is that what you prefer? Yeah. The total price for the four windows is twenty eight hundred and eighty three dollars and sixty four cents. And I'm not going to proceed unless we have adequate funds to do the additional two. Okay. Will we accept the bid for the new windows? I second. Okay, it's been moved and second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Motion carried. Aye. I had an executive session um, topic, but I, but I need to wait for Lisa. Okay. Just a little window. All right. We'll recess. Is it about non elected personnel? 15 minutes? I make motion we have an executive session for non elected personnel for 15 minutes. Second. It's been moved and second. We'll go in the executive station for 15 minutes. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. Session now, yes. Yeah, I move mean, we go back into executive session. Move to extend it to 10 minutes over here. I'm trying. What do I want? Well, I didn't know if you knew what you were supposed to do. <laughs> I would like to move that we extend it for another 10 minutes. Good night. I'll second. Okay, it's been moved and second. We extend for another 10 minutes. All in favor say aye. 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 Okay, 10 minutes. To extend this conversation for another 15 minutes. Okay, I'll make a motion to go back into the session for a dollar personnel for 15 minutes. I'll second it. All right, it's been moved and second. We'll extend this executive session for another 15 minutes. All in favor say aye. Aye. Do we have any uh, idea how long this would be? Well, let's put you up the executive let's session. Let's say 15 minutes. We can always come out early. Okay. What, for, what purpose? We tend to go long. Well, attorney, let's go, let's go, client, what do you think you want to go, 20? Let's go 20. 20. For what? Attorney-client. Matters of recovery. Attorney-client privilege. I make motion to go, second session 20 minutes for attorney-client privilege. Second. Okay, it's been moved and second. All, all in favor say aye. 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 We're in 20 minutes, please. Do right, you have in front of you an agreement with the, a cleaning agreement for the annex? Alicia Fisher. I move that we accept Alicia Fisher's bid for cleaning the annex. We also need to accept this agreement. Yeah. Yeah. That's right, Court. All right, it's been moved and second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried.
feel as a performer and ever yeah. sign a contract. Yeah. And, and this is for a year agreement. Is that okay? Yes. Sir. Okay. Okay. <laughs> We need to schedule a uh, department head meeting in the very near future. When would be a good time? Today's the 18th. Anything going on the 25th that we know of? Monday the 25th. It's just Monday. another day, right? You're looking at me, but you want me to tell you this? The representative here. Do you want to have a department head meeting? Do you want to have a, 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 like a lunch and take a dip one at a time over in the annex or something? And, we did that one time. Yeah, but where they get Okay. That worked to you. You want to do that? I think it'd be a neat job. It'd be nice. Have a, you cooking? No, I'll, I'll uh, I, I would want to chip in for some pizza. Some of the other major will chip in. Some <laughs> I bring peanut butter and jelly. I'm cooking now. <laughs> 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 I don't want your peanut butter and jelly. And I'm cooking chicken. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Ooh, is that two weeks away? No, it's next, next week. Oh, next week? Do you, you want to wait want until next in Let's July? not do it on the first. No. No, let's do it this week. Monday, coming I would say either week. the 25th or maybe the 8th. I would have a Maybe the eighth would be better than we get everyone to the eighth? Yeah, I think so. It gives both of them. Will you be here? Mark it off their busy schedule. Lunch? Yeah, I think we're fine. I'd be. Commissioner? I think we'd pick up the staff or pizzas or something like that. Okay. Okay. Awesome. All right. Anything else? Joe? Nothing? Well, we just, you know. We have our customary well, 12 and well, 21. 20, 21 now. Well, we've actually got rid of a couple of people uh, working in concert with Reno County. Yeah, I know that. Thing. So that's that's good. Reno County has a lot more money and assets. So when these guys come out of jail, can we like pass the law they can come back to staff or something? <laughs> I wish we could. Some of these well, people are so funny. I just don't know. We can't get rid of the theory. In theory, we can charge them for the DM and sue the collectors and a lot of times we do that. Maybe they have to do that. You can get judged against them. Even in tax case, you get some money. Yeah, I mean, but most of these people are. I understand. I, I, t I tell you what's fascinating is how these people just don't, just don't work. I mean, Stafford County is not that unique. It's not like the Garden of Eden in the middle of a wasteland. I mean, you know, it's, yeah. it's very similar, similar counties, wow. you know, if, if you like to watch, you know, oil wells and pivot irrigation and, you know, whatnot. There's lots of counties that you can go to, and they have much friendlier county attorneys in Stafford County does. I mean, that's why we got 21 in jail. So those people are just stupid. Some of them. You want to name it in. I think on that note, we'll adjourn. That's your job. Definitely.